Welcome to HSK Grammar. HSK 语法 HSK four, 打 beat, hit, strike, and much, much more. 我是老徐 This is 老徐 In HSK two, we talk about some grammar points about 打 Today, I'm going to talk more. Let's repeat what we have learned. First grammar point about 打 is its original meaning: beat, hit, strike. The character 打 has two parts. The left hand side is a radical of hand, and the right hand side is character 丁 and 丁 in Chinese is the same as. Ding here in ancient China, but not today. So this ding meaning nail. So the combination of da, which is a hand and a nail, meaning you strike a nail into the wood. Of course, wood is not here. So the basic meaning of the character is just like the title said: beat, hit, strike. For example, we can say, 打篮球 you play the basketball, you play the ball, or 打球 play ball. So you hit the ball, and the ball bounces back. In English, you say play the ball. Actually, we mean we know that you have to physically strike the ball so you can play. Let's see some examples. 我喜欢打篮球，你呢 ？I like to play basketball. How about you? And this kid, 他网球打得好。他打网球怎么样？他网球打得好。He plays tennis very well. We have learned some other sports games about 球 ，so we can do more here. 他打乒乓球打得很好。Ping pong, he plays table tennis very well. Ping pong 球 table tennis. And the sound of ping pong is just like the sound of ping pong, ping pong. So that's how Chinese get the name of this ball. It's called ping pong 球。我网球打得不怎么样。My skill to play tennis is not that good, but this little kid, 他网球打得好 Next one, 他很高，打排球打得不错 She is tall. She plays volleyball very well. 排球 volleyball. 同学们正在打羽毛球，羽毛球 Badminton. Students are playing badminton. Next one is not about sports, but about people behavior. 在学校别打人 Hi, kid. Do not hit people. Do not fight with people. 打人他在我身上打了一下 He hit me on the body. He hit me on some part of my body. 妈妈做饭的时候打了三个鸡蛋 Mom cracked the egg or cracked the egg when cooking. Now we have more words using 打 with the basic meaning of hit. Strike beat from HSK three to six. For example, one example is 打架打架 basically meaning to fight, to come to blows. For example, 他今天和别人打架了 He fought with others today. He fought with others today. 他今天和别人打架了 Next application of 打 is 打 with an object. 
And there are so many words with this structure. For example, 打电话. You cannot use the basic meaning to explain 打 here because you cannot say you hit the telephone. No, that's not right. That's when you are angry. So 打电话 meaning you speak to the telephone. In old time, when you have the uh, old style telephone, you actually have to dial the telephone. So maybe that's how we get the 打电话. 打 meaning you have to dial. So today, 打电话 just means you speak to the phone. So the 打 here, just like English word do or make, it just means an action. And the specific meaning of this 打 has to be uh, guessed, has to be from the object it accepts. So for example, 打水 doesn't mean you hit the water, but you fetch the water. You fetch some water. 打字, meaning you type the typewriter. And 打饭 is to buy food. 打票 is to buy a ticket. And there was actually another one in our normal life, which is 打车, meaning you take the taxi. 车 here meaning 出租车, 打车, you do not hit the taxi, you take the taxi, 打车, 你是打车来的吗? 我们打车去他家玩吧, 打车, 你打电话, 打了一个小时了, 别打了, you have been making phone calls for one hour, do not do it, Stop it. Okay, next one. 他去打水了。五分钟后就回来。She is fetching water. She will be back after five minutes. Here, water probably mean hot water. Chinese like hot water. So 打水 meaning bring hot water. 我去学校打饭。再买点水果. I will go to the school to buy some food in the, of course, in the cafeteria, and also buy some fruits. 公共汽车可以上车以后再打票。再打票. When you take the uh, bus, you can go to the bus first, get on the bus first, then buy tickets. So you can also say 公, 坐公共汽车可以上车以后再买票. Last one. 爷爷还喜欢在打字机上打字. My grandfather still likes to type in the typewriter, on the typewriter. Let's see some more examples from HSK3 to HSK6, which have similar pattern. For example, first one is 打针, everyone, every kid hates that. 打针, meaning to give an injection, or technically, you inject a needle. So nurse actually does not strike the needle. Instead, nurse uses needle to hit the muscle. 打针. Other examples such as 打交道. 交道 meaning you have communication or contact with others. So 打交道 meaning to come into contact with or to have some dealings. To have some dealings. 打交道. If you have some trouble with others, you can 打官司. 打官司 is to file or lawsuit. 打官司, 官司 is a lawsuit. And 打仗, 仗 is war or battle. You do not hit, strike the battle itself. Instead, you fight in a battle with enemies. 
Next one. Everyone like that. 打折 meaning to have discount, to give discount. And 打工 meaning to work a temporary job or casual job. 打工工 meaning work job. 打招呼 is to greet someone with words or gesture. If you use words, you would say "Hi, 你好，早上好 If you with gesture, you would maybe hug or shake hands, 打招呼 And next one is interesting. 打喷嚏，打喷嚏 You sneeze. 喷嚏 is a sneeze. You 打喷嚏 meaning it actually meaning you let go a sneeze. So. Let's say if you have a big one, surprisingly you will have a big sneeze. Then you would say, 打了个大喷嚏 So 喷嚏 here is a object, is a noun. Let's see some、uh, sentences. 小朋友都不喜欢打针 ，not 打打针，打针。小朋友都不喜欢打针。Children. Don't like to have an injection. By the way, kids like to take medicine sometimes, the medicine pills. He does not like to deal with other people. 打官司要花很多钱 To file a lawsuit is very expensive. 但是如果赢了官司就有很多钱 ，but if you win the lawsuit, you have a lot of money. 妈妈不喜欢看打仗的电影。My mom doesn't like to watch any movie of war. 打仗的电影。Why? Because 打仗要死人的。Because people will die in a battle. Okay, next one. 这件裙子打折了 This skirt has a discount. 原来五十块，现在卖四十块 Original price is fifty yuan, and now the sales for forty yuan. It's a twenty percent off. Okay, let's see some. Examples for students. 我周末在图书馆打工四小时。打工。I work temporary job for four hours in the library on weekend. 但是我们学生只能打短工。We students can only do temporary jobs. 短工 temporary jobs. 我跟老师打了一个招呼，就带孩子回家了。打招呼 ，you can also add something in between. 打了一个招呼，我跟老师打了一个招呼，就带着孩子回家了。I greeted with the teacher, and then brought the kid home. 老师上课突然打了一个大喷嚏。The teacher suddenly put out a big sneeze in the class. God bless you. The third point about 打 is if a 打 combined with verb of single character, then becomes a new verb phrase. It mainly emphasizes The、uh, process of the action, two-character word is much much less misleading than one character, because one character could have so same meaning for so many different、uh, characters. So that's why、uh, two character is better. And in Chinese, you have much much more. You have many many more two-character words. Than one single character. 
So da is one way to form these words. These words. For example, we have seen so many here from HSK three to six. Da sao, sao meaning sweeping. Da sao still meaning cleaning, sweeping, but it's a uh, it's a special word. People all know that. Next one, 算打打算算 meaning you calculate. 打算 meaning you plan, you calculate. And 打扮扮 meaning you dress up, dress, make up. 打扮 meaning you to decorate, to dress or to make up. Just like this、uh, cute cat. 他打扮，打印，印 meaning print， 印刷，印 ，to stamp， 打印 ，technically meaning to print， still meaning 印。Next one， 听 meaning you listen， you hear， 是打听 meaning you to ask about， to make some inquiries， to ask around。When you go to restaurant, you have some leftover. You would ask to wrap it up, 包起来 But we have a special word called 打包 Hey, 服务员，请帮我打包 Meaning, please wrap this up. 打包 And finally, 猎 Meaning you hunt. 猎人 Meaning hunter. But you can say 打 Li meaning you go hunt. Fourth grammar point about da is not as a verb but as a preposition, which is from. The same, just like, 从 It can be a 从 time or location. So, 他打五岁。就跟爸爸学习中文了。打五岁 ，meaning 从五岁。He learned Chinese from his father, starting five years old. 从。你打哪里来的 ？Where do you come from? 你是打车来的吗 ？Here 打车 ，meaning take the taxi. Did you come here by taxi? Did you take the taxi here? Last, there was a special thing about da, which is different sound called da. It's a 多音字多音字 polyphone. Da means a dozen. It's a long word. We borrowed this word from this English word dozen. So if We borrow it. We have to make it simple. So, da, d o, sounds like a da, but we change the sound so it becomes da. For example, 一打 meaning twelve, two 打两打 meaning twenty-four. 妈妈过生日的时候，爸爸送了一打玫瑰给妈妈。When my mom had birthday, my dad sent a dozen roses to mom. 一打玫瑰 So those are five grammar points for 打 Actually, there are more, but that was too much. So too much grammar points for 打 Let's 打住 which means stop. Let's 打住 Thank you very much.